What's up, Mr. Parker here? Looking like a goon. But anyways, uh, I got a movie to review. Sent to me to review, actually. I requested it. It looked uh, really cool. Uh, Four-course meal. As you can tell, this is uh, the style of the old EC Tales in the Crypt comics. Instead of uh, the old witch, uh, the Vault Keeper, and the Crypt Keeper, we have a corporate zombie, Death Row Demon, and the Brute. Very cool cover. Uh, back's very cool, too. It's in Horrorthology from the title, you can guess. Uh, four short stories, an appetizer, as you say. It has, like, a theme going on. The appetizer opening's really funny, really goofy, over-the-top, and silly. Kind of like a cooking show where the guy puts himself into the meal. Really cool. Gordon? Goody, good morning. Goody, good morning, Gordo. <laughs> what you got for us? Thanks, Chip. Sonny. Little girl. Okay. It's Friday afternoon. You've got a party of 20 coming by tomorrow at 2 o'clock and you don't have squat to eat. Well, don't go killing yourself just yet, buddy, all right? <laughs> He's Irish. I know. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect four-course meal in just minutes, and while using items just lying around the house, like a steak tartare with walnut spread, garnish, and salad. Well, I see all the vegetables, but where's the beef, Gordo? That's the best part, Sonny. Now, I know you have one of these lying around the house, so this, should be easy as cake. <laughs> Sweet Jesus! <laughs> In just a sec, the perfect steak tartare. And this isn't only good for special occasions. Okay, as long as you've got limbs to spare, it's perfect for everything from weddings even to an after school snack. And I haven't even gotten to the spare ribs yet. <laughs> I had a girl. You eat that stuff. Cut the commercial, Barry. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And it's really short and demented and. The next story kind of follows like a prison drama thing where there's this awesome creature, no CGI, it's creepy as hell, acrobatic type creature, and there's a nice little twist at the end with narration. Really kind of like Shanks of Redemption or whatever. I mispronounced that crap, sorry. Shanks of uh, Redemption meets, uh, I don't know, monster movie. short straight to the point 15 minutes well worth your time the next story is shot to like an old uh, Nosferatu silent movie where they kind of have the cue cards up and it's uh, really cool it's about uh, this guy delivering kids to these creepy people in the woods the uh, furies and uh, there's like a twist there's a whole bunch of big stories like things going on under the, everything and there's a nice little uh, divulging of the story at the end uh, it's really made really stylized and really cool and uh, entertaining as well again it uh, involves eating people like all the stories do in this one
lastly, the third story is a comedy that kind of has like it takes a take with zombies. Zombies are used for everything. They can always be used for everything. That's why zombies are great. They do the whole affirmative action thing where zombies back in 68, shout out to Night of Living Dead, come back and basically they're competing for jobs with everyone else. Really funny stuff. This guy loses his job, so he decides to dress up like a zombie and realizes that zombies are actually being screwed over a lot and kind of sides with the zombies and a whole bunch of stupid, funny twist things come in here. A lot of the same actors appear through all the stories. They do well. It's well acted. Uh, the special effects are great, which surprised me. It is shot on a budget, but uh, it doesn't really bother you at all. All the stories are equally good, equally different, equally creative. Uh, I, caught, I, I really enjoyed it. I was really surprised. I don't think for the budget and anything, this movie could get any better than it actually did. I'd really recommend this pe uh, to people who like horror anthologies, uh, you know, creep show stuff like that. And, uh, you know, zombie movies, the zombie story is really cute and funny, kind of kind of like Zombies Anonymous, except short and straight to the point and uh, better and uh, edited better. But anyways, uh, this is Four Course Meal from R Squared Films. Uh, they have a whole slew of other stuff i got to review. I'm sure it'll be good. Uh, four course meal. Check out that case. Let's get a close up on that bad boy. But uh, let's see the back. That monster there. Uh, the special effects. I believe uh, my friend told me that the guy who did Killer Clowns from Outer Space did the special effects. Great movie. You can tell he used practical effects. Really creepy stuff. But again, I don't want to go into the details too much. But uh, yeah, the twists are fun. Everything's great about this. Uh, I'd really recommend it. Uh, top notch, low budget horror film that uh, actually really entertained me. Thank you very much. Have a good one. I am so glad you all took time out of your busy day to come here and just cut loose a little bit. Uh, we're one big happy family here at uh, Comp Glob. And um, we have a, uh, a few new brothers, or at least close cousins, moving into the spare bedroom, so to speak. And uh, don't forget, next week we have a famous author and e-motivational speaker, Mr. Linus St. Hubbins. He's going to come and read from his best-selling book, ABC Your Way to Successful Office Relationships. And he's also going to be administering some of those uh, Meyer and Briggs, Briggs and Meyer office compatibility tests. So, I guess that means everybody can wear their uh, Friday Funbrero a day early. <laughs> oh, hey, Harvey. Listen, I was just telling everybody here to loosen up, and uh, we're going to cut the cake here. It's uh, Consuela's birthday. Consuela, honey, come over here and cut the cake. Come on, come on. Come on. Does, does anybody speak Mexican? She obviously doesn't understand what I'm saying. Um, sweetheart, the cake. It's your birth, cut your birthday cake. Cut, cut cake up. There you go, right there, sweetie. There you go. all kinds. Oh, Lisa, when Consuela comes back to life or whatever, will you call HR and tell them to uh, adjust her W-2 to uh, negative one dependence? Oh, Harvey, you're in a new tax bracket too, buddy. Yeah, obviously we don't take out for your HMO plan anymore, so uh, you might want to set a little aside for the uh, end of the year. <laughs> Aren't you uh, hungry, Harvey? <laughs> oh, buddy boy. Old habits die hard, huh? Come on, it's cool. Just uh, leave enough to resurrect. Brains, brains, brains. Get out of this town.